This is Elsa Schmitz from the Easterner reporting, Easterner asks, this week we're asking students the big question, should EWU be required to label genetically modified foods? They should able label, um, label their food because we don't know what kind of chemicals they use on their products, like for example, vegetable, uh, veggies, fruit, and other type of meals, um, so we can know what's good for our body, and that's um, I don't think they should, because it's, I don't think genetic, genetically modified food affects the food that much, it just changes its proteins that the plant over here eating is making, and I don't think that would have a big effect on your body. I believe so, just so we can know what we're eating, so yeah. I believe that we should uh, label genetic uh, our, our foods because generally uh, as consumers you want to know what you're buying and when you pay money into what you're purchasing you need to know uh, gen generic generically everything that comes with it. Uh, yes I do think they should have to when people are buying things they want to know what's in their food especially um, if they're spending money they want to know what yeah what's in their food. Yes um EWU should be required to label their genetically modified food because people would want to know what they're eating. I like having the little food bar on the side to know like, oh, calorie intake, stuff like that. But I also like to know what's in my food. So I don't care personally if they're labeled or not, but I know that there are people out there that do care that food are genetically modified. So, yeah, they should be, just for those people who do. And if people don't think so, then why not? It doesn't harm you if you do, if they are. I think that if this issue isn't a statewide thing, Eastern particularly shouldn't have to do it. But I'm not against it being a state requirement. So if the state legislature wants to make that a requirement, I would support that because I do think it's important that people know what they're eating and actually where it comes from. I'm still kind of jonesing about that in some cases because, well, actually, my mother and I talked about it last night. It would be rather good to know at least what's in our food, but also in terms of reading about the people who are opposing this ideal is they believe that there are other foods that will be exempt from that. And I believe, well, if something's genetically modified, what exactly is being exempt? So... In terms of that, I'm still trying to decide whether or not we actually should. As far as it goes, I already see enough ingredients on the labels of food. But I do, I actually would like to know what I'm taking in into my body because many other countries, they have natural foods. We provide ingredients that are illegal in other countries and many other people are healthy. Americans are actually the most unhealthy people in the world and... Coming to, and we're coming to terms that we need to be fit and maintain healthier lives. So maybe perhaps Eastern should get involved because many of the type of foods that we're getting within our cafeteria, we're being fed that and who knows what we're ingesting and that could affect the lives of our students. Hmm.